Okay. We set up our camp, it's over there. We went across the land bridge and we're just hanging out at the edge of Glacier-esque Lake. I don't remember the name. I'll pull out the map in a minute. But Ed has decided that he wants to do a polar plunge. <laughs> Uh, mind you, floating ice chunks. But he's uh, he's determined to do it. He's stripping down right now. It's gonna get a little too PG-13 for you butt scratchers. <laughs> How cold do you think it is? exact number for you. Take a guess. Oh, that feels really good though. So far. That's gotta be 30s, right? Probably. Probably 30s. Oh. Hey, hey. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm going that way. I'm going that way. Oh, I really hope I can do it. It is painfully cold. I believe in you. Oh. It is pain. Oh, I don't think so. Obviously. <laughs> just it do is... it really quickly. Just drop in. Just drop in and uh, run out. Drop in and run out. Okay, I'm gonna get somewhere where I can. Oh, it's okay, little nuggets. <laughs> you can touch the ice, Ed. <laughs> All right, buddy. Count of three. Are you ready? No. 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 Do it quick. It's got to be quick. I, I, hold on. I gotta. I gotta. You're not gonna go back in. I. I, I will. No, you're not. Uh, I probably will. That fucking hurts. That yeah, just... that's why you gotta be quick. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh, that is. Oh, look how white my feet got. Ah. Uh, oh, that's painful. Ah. Uh, Come on, blood. You're gonna do it? I really want to. Do you do your pause? Do you warm up first? Time out. Time out. Okay, we're gonna time out. We're gonna time out. Oh shit. picked up so um I know. I know I can feel it quick be quick just do it just do it do it quick you're, you're just making it worse one, two, three. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's gonna happen. at Connors Glacier now. Uh, Was it worth it? Let's get this water out of my ear, it will be. <laughs> I have Q-tips in my hygiene stuff for when we get back over there if you need it. Oh, man. Uh, so, did your heart stop? Is that what that feeling was? Maybe. <laughs> Alright, you 
probably can't see it, but right over there, there are people skiing down right now. They must have gone to the top of either Connors Peak or North Peak, and now they're just skiing down. That's cool. That's awesome. I'm hoping in editing I can zoom in enough that you guys can actually see this. If not, it might not make it into the video, but that's awesome. I wonder if they watched your polar plunge. Uh -huh. Or heard it. That's awesome. I'm not gonna pull her plunge like Ed. That's all him. I am gonna put my feet in. Well, that's risky business for me. Especially now that I have been diagnosed with Renaud's. But it's almost like challenge accepted. It's probably dumb challenge accepted, but. Let's see how cold this water is. Kudos to the end. Kudos to the end. Oh. <laughs> if I wasn't awake earlier, I'm awake now. Yes, yes. We just got to witness two frolicking day hikers come down the mountain. They came down there just little, literally running, trail running style. There they go, frolicking off the way. Turned around just in time to say hi. Ha -ha. They're booking it. They'll be fine. Although we were laughing at that, wondering if they were gonna water. That would be funny though. Yeah. Watch sunset, eating dinner. Dinner, new flavor. Decided so we're getting some new stuff for this trip because I'm trying to follow dietary restrictions for the rain nuts. This one is the Patagonia mushroom, mushroom risotto and rice. It, it's not horrible. I'll, I'll, I'll eat it again. It's also just kind of, kind of bland, but you know. Ed thoughts. They might be too dark for this channel. That's fine. They'll still end up in my heart. Ed thought. Isn't death fascinating? I was... I, I thought of this the other week. I feel like... Choosing when to die is the ultimate freedom. Like, yeah... So, like, pulling the plug on yourself? Like, like, yeah, having money and you can travel and you can... Eat what you want and go where you want. But also... Being able to decide, you know what? I'm gonna die next Tuesday. That's the ultimate freedom. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm not planning to anyway. But if I wanted to, I could. <laughs> That's some powerful shit. Yes. Recycle. Recycle, yes, yes, yes. That's your takeaway message, recycle. Well, 
we've hung out, we sunbathed, we ate lunch, we've had dinner now too. And now we're just chilling, enjoying the view as the sun starts to go down behind the mountains, watching random lost eagles successfully fish up here. Although I wonder if their feet can get cold. I don't know. Hmm. What? If you think that seagulls' feet can go cold, like get numb in the ice cold water, let us know in the comments below. What do you think happens to their feet? I'm curious. But, uh, you know, we're just gonna hang out and enjoy the sunset and call it a night. Get up bright and squirrely. And the goal is to get back there to another lake in another part of the glacier. <laughs> yeah. But it's time, time to start winding down. Another fantastic day. It's Saturday morning. Is it Friday or Saturday? No idea. I think it's Saturday. Saturday sounds right. We're still out here at the glacier. So today's plan. Our plan. <clears throat> so there's a ridge here. Another ridge ridge. So behind that ridge, there's another lake that goes up even closer to a different part of the glacier. There is certainly a little lake over there that we thought about getting to, but there's a lot of uh, ice and snow still covering the trail that we normally get there. We thought about going up on the ridge that's behind this that goes along the bottom of north, but we're gonna go this way. We're gonna follow the ridge and we're gonna go there. And we're gonna pop back down, go check out the other lake, depending on if we can see that one easy enough or not. We'll determine if we want to go to it or not. But if not, we're quite happy to just get into another point of the glacier that's a little bit further in. We're, we're curious to see what it looks like. Yeah. We've eaten our breakfast. We've done our <clears throat> morning routines. Now we're just getting our day bags ready. And yeah, now we'll, we'll roll on out. We've got some overcast today, which is actually an advantage because the sun's not hitting the snow directly. So the snow isn't going to start melting too quickly, which is good for us. It's safer. Um, because obviously there's a lot of snow melt and you don't want to go or slide down and into the icy cold water. Although, Ed already did just polar plunge like yesterday. Probably, probably best to avoid a secondary polar plunge. Best. <laughs> so we're going to avoid that. Yep. Right. We do have to cross the creek. So our feet are going to get cold at the very beginning. But we can dry them off, put boots on afterwards. So. All right, here's the day hike to the glacier, yeah. Okay, we made it across the river crossing. That was painful. Much colder in the morning than in the afternoon, which is good though, because it means, you know, it's not melting yet, so that's, that's comforting. But, cool. Renauds, you're an asshole. Oh, that was, that was painful. But we made it across. We're definitely awake now. I gotta go back and get my phone. Are you gonna go back and get your phone? <laughs> we could choose on everything and he realized he forgot his phone at camp, but we'll I'll take pictures and just give them to him. Cool, cool. All right, let's start this. Cruise. getting warm. The sun's heating us up pretty quick. <laughs> pretty, pretty quick. Mucus is melting as well, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we made up one part. We're on top of the ridge line area and we can see the other lake. So that's one of the lakes. And then there's supposed to be another one 
right back over there. So it's got a lot of ice still. But damn, that blue is spectacular. So now we're gonna go across here. We're gonna follow along. Yep, yep. Oh yeah. There's a. Uh, we saw some skiers. They must have gotten past us before we woke up this morning. But they hiked their little butts up there. We're waiting to see if they ski down. We got to see a couple people ski down yesterday. That was pretty neat. And we saw a couple day hikers come through as we were getting ready for the morning. So, yeah. good weather. <laughs> Look at the mountains behind you. Oh wow. Been here the whole time. <laughs> Just out of view for us. Man, I can only imagine what the top, on the top of North. If you get all the way to the top of North, or even Conus, whew, the view up there, probably not, probably won't compare to a 14er like Long's, but I guarantee you that view is probably spectacular. You can probably see all the way into Yosemite. Ed's decided to pop on his spikes because he was sliding a little bit in his ultras on the other part. I'm good. It's called being cautious. It's a good thing to be. Safety first, kids. Safety first. Oh, and I remember to put sunglasses on today. I will not make my sunburn worse. I will keep these on today. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't believe I burnt my hands still. <sighs> but yeah. Onward, onward to the next portion. <laughs> Look how deep this is. This probably isn't even as deep as it usually gets. Ed, how, how tall are you? I'm like 6'4". Six, 5'8". Six. Ha, ha. Five, 5'8". Five, it's pretty up past his hip. <laughs> <sighs> we get to walk on that. All right, we made it back to the other lake. We're on top of that one ridge we were talking about. Beautiful, beautiful waterfall. It's just flowing hard. Now, technically, there is another little lake over there. The question is, is how steep is that? Because we could crawl across, go up, and go straight across to get over there. We're thinking about it. Thinking about it, we're not sure. Maybe. Either way, though, this is beautiful. And the skiers are all the way up there. <laughs> Can't really see it, but there's like a little cave right there in the ice. <laughs> That's cool. Beautiful waterfall. More lake. Another lake. Still debating, I want to go across or not. Got to get up all the, all of that. Some steep climb, and then maybe across. But Ed's a little worried about how steep the ice is, which is fair. It's fair. Got to be cautious. Got to be cautious. Absolutely. We don't have crampons. We have micro spikes. So. Yeah. Not, I'm not sure where he's going. Pardon the squinties. I gave my glasses uh, to Ed for a few minutes. He accidentally forgot his in the car when we left, and his uh, his eyeballs have been taking a toll with the snow. I've been letting him borrow them on and off because I've been wearing mine the whole time, so I've been fine. But we got up on that one ridge, and we're like, we could go across there and go across there, go there, we could climb down the rocks, get to the waterfall. It would be pretty awesome. However, we don't have bonds. Ed's cautious, but that, not, that is a bad thing. He's allowed to be cautious. For me, I'm pretty sure I'd be fine because it's not that steep. And I trust myself because I've been in super situations on snow with ice spikes. But 
when you're up here with someone else, it's safety. You want to stay together. And I would feel like a giant a-hole if I left him on the rock over here and went over by myself and then down, and then he'd be sitting here for forever by himself. It wouldn't be cool. <sighs> his poor eyeballs. His poor little eyeballs. His, his eye colors are brown, so like it's a little bit better than, say, like having blue-green ones. But, again, we've been up here for a couple days in the snow, and yeah. Poor dude. But yeah, it's a pretty, pretty awesome view up here. We might not go across the waterfall, but having lunch up here, on point. Check out that view. We'll camp all the way down there. You know, barely had any mosquitoes at a campsite, and yet somehow, all of a sudden, there are freaking mosquitoes everywhere. What the hell? Is it not cold enough for you guys? Can you please just go away? Stupid mosquitoes. Oh, beautiful, though. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We hung out, we enjoyed our views, we had our lunch, we talked about life, we enjoyed life. It's a, quite, a, quite a spectacular view to enjoy up here. Yep, yep. Now we're gonna make our way back down and make our way slowly back to camp. <laughs> Always kind of wondered, like, you know, when you see balloons float off into the air after someone's let them go. I was kind of wonder where they land. Well, we have discovered the landing zone of one of them. We're up here in the middle of everything, in the middle of the glacier. There's like a little pond, and we found a balloon in the water. We are going to take it out of the water because we're going to pack it out because we don't lose trash up here. But in case you're ever wondering where your balloons maybe float off to, potentially on top of glaciers. Let's uh, try to not let those uh, fly off into the Neverland. Ed, the Good Samaritan. Any good design? Paw Patrol! Paw Patrol! Paw Patrol made it to the glacier. So, we were headed back to camp, but uh, we decided to take a detour, go up another side, get a different uh, point of view, because I wanted to see if I could get a good view of the other mountains. And you know what? <laughs> Goal accomplished. <laughs> yeah, we were all the way down there earlier, came back across, went over, and we decided to just come all the way up. Camp is uh, there somewhere. Oh, yeah, you can see Sawtooth Lake. Saddleback. Oh, Saddleback. Sorry, Saddleback Lake over there, in the corner. Yes, yes, we hiked up all of that yesterday. Multiple little lakes. There's even ice still on the one way back over there. Here's the snow to get up towards Conus. And man, I can only imagine the view from north is just amazing. <laughs> Conus Peak and North Peak sit just above 12, is what you're saying? So we're probably sitting at maybe 11 now, or maybe at 11. 
give or take. Hmm. Probably won't go any higher, because energy levels and still gotta get back down the mountain and all that fun jazz. But, whew, the view up here is worth the climb. Hmm. H-E-B for life, son. What? <laughs> Him and his H-E-B. Yes, yes. <laughs> We're here. We're at the top. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you just love nature? We've enjoyed ourselves a second lunch. It's a second lunch because we're, you know, we're, we're just doing our best style. <laughs> Hung out, got some energy back, although the sun's starting to get my nose, forgot the sunblock. <laughs> so, we're gonna start heading back down now. But, one last look around, guys. We have made it back down. We're just below our campsite, but we made it back. We're alive, haha. -ha. But you wanna know how, just how fast this ice is melting? That shelf right there fell off between this morning and now. So sometime in the last like six hours, that shelf, and that's a big chunk of ice. It's probably five, six feet thick. That's how fast this ice is melting. You gotta be careful out here but it's so beautiful. <laughs> okay, so we've made it back from our adventure for today of climbing across the glacier, getting all of our views, going up the side of the mountain and promptly, it was fun, it was great, but we made it back. Uh, and I'm hoping that you all enjoyed the views enough that maybe you'll wanna come out here yourself. And if you do wanna come out here yourself, we figured we'd give you some information to know about, just in case, for starters, we are out here at Conus Glacier, uh, which is just below Mount Conus, which is at 12,590 feet. There you go. 12,590 feet tall. Without look, without even looking at the map. <laughs> um, now, part of the trail to here is an official trail, and then it ends and you end up into wilderness. Depending on what ranger station map you're looking at, we are in the Hoover Wilderness, but it's also the Ansel Adams Wilderness. Now, because we're in the wilderness and no longer national forest, the permits change. We had to get a wilderness permit, or in other words, a backcountry permit for some places, which was... $16. $16 for how many nights? Three nights. Three nights, not bad, not bad at all. With that permit, you also need to, if you're gonna be cooking food back here, which I imagine you would be, you have to get a wilderness stove operating permit propane wilderness something like that something like that that one's free though and they'll hand it to you at the ranger station they will they will they will well so you can do that now with that in mind though you definitely want to make sure you have your maps because getting around the lake you have two ways we went the shorter way which is 1.2 miles however right now with all of the snow covering the trail it was not faster it was, it was entertaining. It was slower. It was slower. We should have just gone the long way, which we're going to take the long way back because it'll be faster or about equal. And that's 2.1 miles, give or take. Um, and hamburgers are too tempting right now to take the long way. Cheeseburgers do sound really good. Sorry, go on. Speaking of that, we got a food dinner soon, but we digress. So you get about, well, depending on which way you go around the lake, you have that mileage and then a 0.4. And after that, you hit the boundary of the wilderness. Now, if you have all trails or let's say the REI app, you can use maps that people have charted beyond the wilderness boundary. So you can follow some sort of path. Now, granted, there's a lot of snow on the trail, so there's not a lot of trail to follow. You're gonna yeah. be kind of winging it and just kind of free balling it upside the mountain. A lot of winging it. A lot of winging it. Which isn't too bad, depending on the pack weight and what you're doing, if you're experienced or not, but. Yeah. Uh, other things to note though, is if you do want to come up for a really good day hike even, if you want to go play on the ice, 
you want to come up here early because once it starts heating up, you're going to have the ice melting pretty quickly. Like, really quick. Very quickly. We've got this uh, lake behind us and big old chunks have fallen off. Just in today. Just in today. Yeah. So it's melting pretty quick as it's warming up. Granted, it is the end of July, but it's still warming up. California got a lot of snow this year, so there was a lot, but it's starting to melt. So keep that in mind when you're coming up here. Be cautious about that. Uh, if okay, you're backpacking and you're setting up camp out in the wilderness, you still have certain rules you have to follow for leave no trace practices. You have to be so many yards away from the water. Uh, for this wilderness, they do require that you have bear vaults. Uh, should you not have a bear vault, though, some places you don't need that as long as you're hanging your food in a tree or an earth sack, that's a good backup. So make sure you double check what your rules are for where you're going. For here, it's bear vault required once you enter the wilderness. We didn't see any bears. We did see bear tracks when we got here, but they were kind of old, so. No bears, unfortunately. No bears. We apologize. Marmots. We have uh, Bobby the Marmot running around somewhere. And Sal the Seagull. Oh, Sal the Seagull. Yes, the lost seagull. However, he's successful in fishing up here. There's there's fish up here. People are up here fishing. I don't know what they're catching up here. I'm gonna have to Google that to figure that one out. We should ask Sal. We should ask Sal. We'll have to ask Sal what kind of fish is up here. Is there anything else you can think of that would be good information wise for people to have for coming out here? The trailhead we chose is a non-quota trailhead. So there's no lottery system. You don't have to get lucky and keep your fingers crossed that you'll get something. Like we felt like getting Palisade Glacier, which is why we went to Conus Glacier. The Rangers recommended this one, non-quota. You can go online and get it. You can stop at a ranger station and get it. You'll get it. There's no competition. It's good. Anything else? That's all I got. Cool. Well, the water is beautiful. Tastes great too. The views are spectacular. Definitely recommend coming and checking out Conus Glacier if you get a chance. And if we're just to climb, if you want to peek it. North Peak's just behind it, off to the side. Also a beautiful peak, even taller. Good views, people, good views. But we're gonna hang out, cook our dinner, enjoy our views for our last night before we pack up and head out tomorrow morning. But if you have any other questions or anything else, comments below. Happy to answer them. I'll also put some more details in the description for the channel, or not the channel, but the, the video. Uh, and I'll put a link to Ranger stuff and all that kind of things, all trail maps, the usual. But yeah, if you got anything else, just let us know. And bring sunglasses and sunblock. Make sure you have sunglasses and sunblock. The sunglasses for sure, because of the snow blindness, he thinks he left his in the car. Uh, poor buddy. You left them in the car. I have my sunglasses. You left your own sunglasses in the car. Thank you. Kids these days. <laughs> I did forget my sunblock on my hands, though. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> dinner time. All right. Tonight's dinner. New, a new one that I tried out. Uh, this one's Heather's Choice, and it is the sockeye salmon cheddar. It's actually really good. Lots of flavor. The same, it definitely tastes like salmon. It's it's really yummy. The water measurements are a little off. Had to like double the water amount. We're at a higher elevation. So take that as a note. The higher elevation, more water. But this has got celery, carrots, salmon. It oh, it's good. It's actually it's actually really good. I'll, I'll definitely get this one again. Good morning. It is Sunday, the 30th, and it is our day to hike out. We're taking one last gander at the beautiful lake before we say goodbye to it and head on back down the mountain. We're all packed up. We have adequately applied sunblock to our noses and our faces. <laughs> and we are good to go. Time to, time to go outwards. Bye, Glacier. Bye-bye. Oh, miss this place. It's really pretty up here. Any last thoughts before we leave the glacier, Ed? Sunblock and sunglasses. Sunblock and sunglasses. <laughs>
we're going back. Sorry. Ed has a giant orange mark on his ass from sliding down an area on a rock. Uh, we're going back the long way around the lake to avoid the snow that we had to go across when we came in. And what's nice is you get, you get different views. You get some new views. Yeah. Little lakes just tucked everywhere. It's quite beautiful. Oh, what Turn am I around. Doing? Am I back? Yeah, just like that. Giant orange mark on your ass. <laughs> but look at that. I still think the other view is better. It is, but this is still nice. What am I orange? We're definitely glad we took the long way. One, no ice. But two, the view is so nice. So nice. And shade. And shade. Shade is nice because, uh, yeah, things already hurt. But that's what we went across on the way in. We had to go across all the snow. This is what we're going across on the way out. This is a nicer route right now. We've made it out. We went to the glacier. We've made it back out of the glacier. Back to the parking lot. We are out of the woods. Ed's over there waiting for me to finish this. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful views. Gorgeous weather. Stunning lakes. The glacier was awesome. Oh, phenomenal backpacking trip. But now it is time to end and go home, de stinkify. <laughs> Take this pack off. I'm ready. And yeah. Just to uh, relax before I go to back to Albuquerque. If you like the video, hit the like button. And if you aren't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and follow along for more adventures because as always, there will be more, I promise. And until the next one, you guys have a good one. Later.